Hey everyone, Callie West here, and welcome back to Garage Darts. So today we're going to learn how to throw a dart. You know, over the years uh, I've introduced a lot of people to the game of darts, and it always surprises me and somewhat terrifies me when I see someone grab a dart for the very first time and wind up to throw it like they're in left field making a play to the plate. Newsflash, this dart weighs less than an ounce. That board, it's less than eight feet away. So trust me, it doesn't take that much effort to get this dart to the board. So let's take a minute to learn the right way to throw a dart. Because if this is your first time throwing darts, I want you to look like you know what you're doing. So let's try this again. In each turn of darts, you get three darts to throw. So with all three darts in your non-throwing hand, step up to the toe line. If you're right-handed, put your right foot on the line, lefties, left foot. This isn't baseball, so you want the same foot forward as your throwing arm, not the opposite. Usually the toe line is set so that your foot will be right up to the front edge of the line, not behind it. This toe line is also known as the Aki. The position of your front foot uh, is usually at an angle to the line, to some degree. Your back foot should be a little bit wider than shoulder width away from the front. Put one dart in your throwing hand while holding on to the other two darts in your other hand. Looking at the dartboard, focus in on a spot you want to hit. To start, let's look right at the bullseye. As you stare at your target, lean forward, bring the dart up and draw it back towards your eye. Throw the dart by moving your hand and forearm towards your target, keeping everything else as still as possible. Nice. Hold your position while transferring the second dart to your throwing hand and repeat your throw. Once you've thrown all three darts, your turn is complete and you can retrieve your darts from the board. Don't worry if you didn't hit what you were aiming for. You'll get there with practice. And yes, it will take some practice to get the dart to go where you're aiming. It's not as easy as the pros make it look. But with practice, I guarantee your accuracy will get better. And I tell you, there's nothing better than having three darts go exactly where you wanted them to. Now, if you've already been throwing darts and have had success with something slightly different than what I've just explained, great, fantastic. Um, you know, even the pros uh, all have their kind of own variation of what I've just explained to you. Uh, so as long as it works for you, no problem. Just keep in mind that any extra movement in your throw will make it harder for you to hit your target consistently. Uh, for example, if you kick your back leg out or step or lunge as you throw, these extra movements uh, are going to change the trajectory and the release point of your dart each time. And that's going to make it a lot harder for you to be consistent. Now, a lot of people have asked me, how do you hold a dart? Um, there's a lot of variations on dart grips and a lot of discussion about it, which is the best dart grip, whatever. Uh, really, the best dart grip <laughs> is the one that's most comfortable and natural to you. Um, for example, uh, I hold my dart more towards the back uh, with my finger and thumb and just kind of use my middle finger as more of a balancing point. Uh, that may not work for you. Maybe you would want to grip your dart closer into the point. Uh, basically, you're just going to have to experiment, try a few different things, and see which works best for you. Like I say, it's got to feel natural and comfortable to you in order for it to work. Overall, the best advice I can give you if you're just starting out, just be patient. Uh, it, it's going to take some time to get the dart to go where you want it to go. Sometimes it still doesn't go where I want it to go. Uh, just keep in mind, this is a game of skill, not luck. So there are no shortcuts, and it will take practice to get your dart going where you want it to go. Uh, in upcoming videos, we're going to discuss practice routines. But for now, just work on your mechanics. Uh, as a beginner, just try to get all three darts to land in the same area. As you build your confidence, you can narrow down your target, getting all three darts to land in one number, say, like the 20s. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, because you don't want to miss the next episode. We're going to learn how to play a game. Thanks for watching.